I'm John McConnell. I'm Michael Gates. And we're here today to talk about a new book written by Michael Gates, Dublin Gulch, A History of the Eagle Gold Mine. So Michael, the photos in the book are both historical and modern. Um, you know, I'm personally f always fascinated with some of the pictures of the old timers who were there. Um, but we've also, you know, got some of the shots. There's the camp during construction. Um, did the photos that you saw, both historically and your visits to site, how did they help you uh, write the book? One thing, right, uh, immediately, the, the, early, the early photographs were few and far between. I really had to uh, search to find images that uh, portrayed Dublin Gulch in that uh, early time period. Um, and um, uh, the, there was one that uh, has a story behind it. Uh, it shows a number of uh, fellows standing around the entrance to the, uh, the olive mine. It turns out that a uh, hundred years later, I think it's the, the granddaughter of one of those men um, was working for Victoria Gold and first visited the site, not knowing that uh, her ancestor had been there a century before. I, I found that a fascinating story. That was Letha. Yeah, now Letha is on our board. So, uh, yeah, quite the story and coincidence. Uh, the photograph that really stood out for me, it was taken at night overlooking the entire operation. In the pitch black, you see these islands of illumination around each of the areas where the construction was going on. And uh, that, that emphasized the, uh, uh, the work that they had to do in the winter time when the days were very short, they were working in pitch darkness and uh, under really cold conditions, often uh, getting as cold as minus 30, minus 40 degrees. I think of all, all the images, that one really, really moved me.